Hey guys, as you can see, I'm not in my regular room. I'm in the RV today. I was out here working, and when I come out here and work, I just have a lot of stuff on my mind. Well, right now, my car is broken down, and it has been broken down for a long time. Uh, we don't take them to the shop anymore because we've had such terrible uh experiences taking them in they charge you 50 million dollars and they still don't really fix your car so my husband works on him he's really good at it but he's so busy doing his work now he hasn't had time to work on my car and when he does have time uh either the part didn't come in or the, it was the wrong part it's just been it's been dragging out it's on my last nerve so that's what i was thinking about when i was down here working in the rv today uh, the lighting may be terrible the sound may be terrible you know i'm sorry i apologize if it is but this made me laugh, and I thought, you know, it could possibly make somebody else laugh, too. Um, I, I didn't tell this story to anybody for a long time because I was so embarrassed. But, okay, uh, my oldest child was, I might have had pain on my arm, but it didn't look. My oldest child was about five, possibly six, I don't really remember, uh, somewhere around in there. So, uh, that made them five three and clay may have been born he might not have been born i don't remember like i don't remember clay in this picture so i don't i don't think he was born at this time anyway we lived if you don't follow me we live because if you follow me you know i say this a million times but it's the truth we lived in the country in the sticks in the middle of a cornfield okay guys you see this big cornfield right here hold on as we come around this curve this little white house is where we used to live when we, when we first got married. This is the house that we were living in when Clay was born. So you see all this, I mean, for miles, or maybe a mile, of corn, look, this little white house right here, that's where we lived, oh my God. It's country, y'all. Literally, corn everywhere. Um, We lived, uh, anyway, we lived way out. So, we had a little uh, Pontiac Le Mans car. It was red, like a little ladybug, but y'all had given us fits. My husband worked off. He uh, traveled with a construction uh, company that worked all over the country, so he was always on the road working. So it was just me and the kids. And uh, this car had been broken down. Oh my God. I mean, it was just, it was on my last nerve. We had had it into the shop. It seemed like it was in the shop more than it was at my house. And it was crazy expensive every time we would have it worked on. Well, the last time we had it in, the guy said, you know, if I didn't know better, it looks like something is chewing on these wires in your car. And I thought, what's chewing on the wires in my car? And he said, well, you know, a rat is really bad to do that. And I was like, oh my God, a rat is causing me all this money? No. So... Y'all, <laughs> when I brought it home from the shop the last time, I thought, you know what? Uh, no, this rat's not fixing to cost me another couple thousand dollars for my little old car out here. It just ain't gonna happen. So I would go and look, like I'd open up the hood and look in my car and make sure there wasn't a rat there. Well, I didn't know what I was looking for. So anyway, this goes on for a while. And uh, I believe, I can't remember, but I think it broke down again. We took it back to the shop and he said, you definitely have a rat because he had found like a little nest where it had like pecans and stuff stuck over in, in the side. And so I was like, uh, uh, no rat, not today. I don't have time for this. So I, I keep checking my car, but now I kind of know like to look is, are there pecans in there? Because I didn't really know what I was looking for. So <laughs> I opened it one morning and I saw pecans. So I knew I had a rat staying in there again. Now y'all, we didn't have mice. We had rats. Like it looked like a rabbit. It was, they're, they're huge. Probably because of the living in the middle of a cornfield, you know, we had corn in front, corn on both sides and corn across the back and we had corn everywhere. I, if you don't follow me, I grew up in the sticks of Arkansas in the middle of a cornfield. Well, I didn't grow up there, but that's where I lived when I had my kids. But anyway, so, I'm probably getting ahead of myself. I'm trying to keep this story together. We, um, I, so now I know I have this rat in, in the engine of my car. So, I'm out there every day going, oh my God, heifer, not today. So, I, I didn't know what else to do. My husband was on the road. I'm here by myself. I don't know what to do. So, and I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to touch this rat. I don't even really want to see this rat. So, I told my oldest, my, might have been both of my kids. I don't remember, but I know for sure it was my oldest. 
I said, y'all get out here and I'm going to spray the water hose like into the engine of my car. Now, I don't know what I was doing. I was scared I was going to mess something up by spraying the water hose in there, but I thought I could run this rat out of my car. So, <laughs> I made, uh, it might have been both of them. I laid, made them lay on the ground and to watch under my car so that when I sprayed in the engine, they would be able to tell me if a rat jumped down in, and ran out of it. So, I'm spraying, are you seeing anything? Are you seeing anything? Hey guys, are you seeing anything? And they're, no, 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 no. And finally, like, I, like I, I'm not remembering my daughter, my, my middle daughter in this, but, but I do remember my oldest started screaming, ah, 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 mom, it got out, it got out, it got out. And I thought, oh, good, 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 good. Where did it go? Uh, you know where it went? It ran to the back and jumped up like in the body part of my car, like into the, where the seats and stuff are. And I was like, oh my God. Y'all, I didn't know what to do. I was like, what do I do now? I've just run her out of the engine into there where we sit. You know, oh my gosh. I was scared to get in my car. I wouldn't go anywhere. Because if this rat had jumped out on me while I was driving, I'd have wrecked and killed us all. So, here's what I decided to do. <laughs> I let everything calm down. And uh, then I come out there with a BB gun. Now, I didn't want to shoot this rat. I can't, that makes my stomach hurt to think about shooting something. I don't want to shoot anything, even though she was eating my car if I didn't want to shoot her. But I know what else to do. I couldn't afford to keep, you know, putting thousand dollar computer systems in my car. So, <laughs> I go out there and I'm real easy lift the, the hood because I didn't want to disturb her. And, and I'll tell you why I knew it was a her in a minute. But, um, so I, I lift up the hood and, uh, I look and look and look and look and finally I see her. She's hidden, you know, down amongst some stuff in there. Now, I didn't know what, like, I was thinking, if I shoot into my car, am I just going to tear something up that I don't have no business tearing up? Oh my gosh, this was so stressful, y'all. Can you imagine? I was stressed totally out. Well, where we lived, people came by quite often, even though it was like in the country, but it was like the farmers, you know, that coming by. And so, every time I would hear a car coming, I would shut the hood of my car because I didn't want anybody to see me standing out there with a BB gun shooting into the engine of my car because they'd been like, oh my God, she's lost her mind. She's shooting that car. So, I would shut the car every time I'd hear somebody coming. So, y'all, I shot and I shot and I shot and I shot and I shot. Now, I don't ever know if I've hit her because she sure ain't dying. Y'all, I was so frustrated. I mean, I was really ready to cry at this point. So, I don't know, a couple of days pass, and then it's the weekend, and my husband's brothers came down to visit their daddy. So, they stopped by and uh, said, you know, hey, what, you know, how's things going? I said, good. And, and I said, I, I, I need y'all's help. And they said, well, what? What do you need? Whatever you need, you know, what is it? We'll help you. And I was like, I'm so ashamed to have to deal with all this. I said, I'm so embarrassed. And then they're like, Oh my God, what, what, you know, no, don't be embarrassed, tell us, you know, we'll do whatever you need. And I said, guys, I have a rat living in the engine of my car and I've been shooting it with a BB gun, but I can't get it out. Can you please help me get this rat out of my car? <laughs> it's embarrassing now, I just even think about it. So they're like, give me that gun. So I go get the BB gun and they go out there and they lift the hood. And of course they see her in there. One shot, he shoots and kills her. Now, I didn't know you were supposed to shoot her in her eyeball. I didn't know that. That's gross, disgusting. I don't even want to think about it. Well, he pulls it up out of the car and he said, you know, you may not have uh, killed her instantly, but you was you had her in the long run. She had lumps all over her where I was shooting her with a BB gun, but it was just like barely going in her skin. It wasn't going in far enough to kill her, which I hate that. But y'all, she had these lumps, like these infected lumps all over her body where I had been shooting her. Y'all, I was... First, I was disgusted because I had been hurting her. I didn't want to kill her, but you know, God, come on, get out of my car. Um. Anyway, he pulls her up out of there, and they get the rat out of my car. And uh, you know, we all had a really good laugh about it. And, and it's the joke. We it's been the joke for you know ever since then about me having that rat living in the engine of my car. So okay, they get the rat. I'm happy. I'm thrilled. Oh my God. Then, guys, a few days later, this is even worse. Anyway, I get in my car to go somewhere, and I'm like, holy cow, I know what that smell is. Oh, my God. Y'all, I knew it was a dead rat smell, and I'm thinking, oh, my God. This rat is tormenting me. Oh, my God. So, now again, I'm by myself, so 
my husband's working on the road. I'm, it's left to me to tend to. So I go out to the nearest little town and there's a little gas station where he works on, you know, maybe cars. I don't know, but I know he worked on lawnmowers and stuff like that. So I, I didn't know what else to do. So I went out there and I pulled up and uh, I was like, come here, come here. Because I was so embarrassed. I was so, so embarrassed. He comes over there and I said, I'm really embarrassed to have to tell you this. But if you'll stick your head in here, you'll know what I'm here for. And he stuck his head in and he said, oh my God, girl, you got a dead rat. I said, yeah, I do. I told him about me shooting the one and finally getting it. And, and he said, well, let me, let me just keep it for the day and I'll tear it apart and see if I can find it. He took my dashboard out, y'all, and found a little nest of little dead rats because I had killed the mama. Her rats, her babies died. Y'all, that's my rat story. <laughs> I am so embarrassed. I'm not anymore. It's kind of funny now, but at the time I was mortified that for one, I had to kill this rat. Two, I killed her babies, but three, because she's living in my freaking car and causing me thousands of dollars, y'all. So that's my rat story uh, and my broken down uh, car story. <laughs> um, I have a gazillion stories like that because my life has been so crazy. So if you would like to hear more of these crazy tales, let me know and I will do another story time. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.